Okay, now that we have our base plate um, aligned properly, we're going to adjust our Z riser uh, to get it at the, le the, the right uh, lens height here. So we're going to take our Allen, we're going to loosen these two screws, and that will make that uh, flop up and down like that. And then take your four and a half inch rods, and we're going to insert those here in the Z riser. Tighten that down. Then take your matte box. You know, here I have a 4x4 Petroff matte box, but you know, it'll be the same for any kind of, kind of uh, matte box that you use. And it helps if you push it all the way down on the rods. And then if we can see here, um, this will allow you to kind of give you some reference points of, you know, where am I too high, you know, my cockeyed, you know, my way down too low. And so what we want to do is we want to center the ring of the matte box around that lens opening. So that looks pretty good to me right there. So I'm going to tighten it. Get in here. Okay, so we've tightened those two screws. Okay, now we're nice and solid. And then we can see here that the mat box is now centered around that lens ring or the, the lens mount there. Okay, so then we take off, take off that Petrov mad box. Then we are going to um, put on our Z grips. Now we do this. We take our Z grips here. Let me put this down. It's okay. So we take our Z grips. We're going to take off the handles here. So what we want to do is we want to, want to put on the, the, the grip housings. The easiest way to do this is to loosen all one side of that rod, and that'll kind of slop, you know, fall down there. And I can put that, that side of the housing on. Then we'll bring, up, bring it back up, tighten this side again. And then we do the same thing on this other side. Drops down. And if we go a height there. Okay. Bring this one back up here and tighten it. And then we have a grip housing. And we'll place that. Now we'll place a little bit closer up here, I guess, like that. I'll make sure everything is tight here on the base plate. Okay, that feels pretty, pretty good. Then we've got our, our grip housing there. All right, and then now we're going to finish supporting our this lettuce. What you're gonna need for that is a support, which is a, uh, a lens support with a zip gear on it. And then this right here is just a one inch threaded male rod. It threads right in the bottom of this. All right, so you'll need to Place this around the Nikon mount if you have the Lettuce Elite um, or the Lettuce Ultimate, in fact. And so that will fit around here. You may have to cut your zip gear depending on if you bought it right out of the box. You will need to trim it to size. And you can refer to that video um, on how to, you know, cut your zip gear to size. Then we'll grab our little Allen wrench. We'll tighten this. Down here, and this will tighten the zip gear and the support um, to that front lens mount. Then, taking our Q mount, what we'll do is place this underneath the rods here. And if everything is loose, it will just pop up on the rods like that. And we'll tighten it. And then we'll push down and we'll lock the center column. And what this will do, this will prevent torque. Otherwise, the only point of connection is back here in the, with the base plate screw. So with this connection up here, that prevents the rods and the lettuce and from, from moving side to side. So this locks it all down and makes it really solid uh, for doing any kind of focus work. 
Next, we'll put on our follow focus. This is the Z focus. Uh, you just have to loosen this here. And slot, slide this on the rods. Sometimes with these, uh, with things like the Q mounts, if you tighten them, they will pinch the rods together a little bit. So sometimes you do need to un uh, to loosen one side just a little bit to be able to put that on there. So we'll leave this loose now. We'll take our two inch extensions, thread those in the front, and you can get, a, we have a whole variety of different threaded, uh, um, threaded extensions to accommodate any kind of lens that you may be putting. But for this one, for the 35, uh, we will need to be putting on um, the, the two inch. All right, so we're going to then line up our lens. There's a lens marking here, this solid, solid white line. And then if we look here on the lettuce, there's a tiny little red dot. And so we need those two things to match up. Just focus out of the way a little bit here. Just like that. Rotate. Now it'll be locked in. Then you want to use your lens shade. Um, if you're using a matte box and a, a universal donut, it's, um, it's a good thing to use the lens shade here. So we'll put that on the front of the lens. And we'll take our universal donut, put it around the lens first. So that's secure. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna adjust the follow focus. Okay, so now that we have our universal donut on, I'm going to adjust the follow focus. So with it loose, we're gonna push that in until it meshes with the gears properly. And then we just tighten the little knob down here, a little screw. And, okay, so that should have like a, a good, the, the gears should mesh nicely. So that seems, that seems really good to me. So I'm happy with that. And then we'll take our matte box, slide that onto the front, pop the universal donut into place, push the rods back, or push the uh, matte box just slightly so it's on the rods here. Tighten down this, which will lock that ring into place, and then tighten the matte box down, which there's a little lever on this side. Okay, so we're almost set up. Um, if you're gonna be using a monitor on your hand grip so that you can um, see, see, what you're, see what you're shooting, you'll need a Z mount. And that, this is a Z mount here. It's basically two 15 millimeter uh, holes that are put at 90 degrees to each other.